given your opinion on analytics, you say in the book that you want it, you want mm-hmm. all that information, but you think it has a place. Mm-hmm. Then where does banning the shift? What's your opinion on banning the shift? Because defensive analytics have been huge, but I feel like that goes against analytics, but it's not really in your face or in the clubhouse at all. So I wanted an organic uh, component to this. I wanted hitters to uh, organically learn to hit the ball the other way as opposed to trying to pull. But again, they're being compensated for hitting home runs. So they would rather just continue to do that than get that little base hit the other way. I like organic shifts. I don't like legislation a whole lot. I think we over-legislate everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I would prefer more organic movement in anything that we do. Uh, Because quite frankly, I don't like to be told what to do. Um, A product of the 60s and the 70s, I don't think you do either. Um, I, you know, I like, I'd write and I, I'm, I'm willing to fit in. I'm willing to adapt and adjust and collaborate. Absolutely. I am. But at the end of the day, if I don't believe it's good or accurate, why do I have to follow your belief in regarding what's good or accurate? I didn't get interfered with a whole lot. Don't get me wrong. I did not. Okay. Um, but cause I would always, I don't write the correct statement is fight back, but I would tell you what I think. Um, and then I would conclude, but I'll tell you one thing, once we conclude it, I would follow that. You know, I don't, I don't just, um, uh, tell you one thing and do something completely differently. I don't do that stuff. So once the conclusion is made, I, I would go ahead and conclude and go with that. But what happens when it comes down to the accountability is on coaches and managers, and it's not on um, analytical component of, a, of an organization. That's that's almost like they're they're void or, or free of any kind of criticism. I love analytics. I'm a big part of why it's part of the game. I was doing it before anybody was doing it. I was doing my own version of analytics in the 90s and early 2000s before it became uh, invoked to have a, a baseball operations department. I had my own uh, cocktail going on. So I'm into it. It's just a matter of being interfered with right before a game begins or right after a game concludes. And um, it's about people that really are not well versed in the game presenting to a bunch of players right before the game. And again, um, just they're just presenting what they been presented with they don't really know this stuff they just know what the data or information tells them to know but they don't know specifically the game for lack of a better way of putting it at three o'clock i don't want to see in a dugout and after the mm-hmm. game i don't want to see it tomorrow and i don't definitely don't want you in my office 15 minutes before the game telling me what relief pitchers to use and who's up or down if you haven't well, bought it the book of joe yeah please do it's tommy verducci's brilliant i think verducci mm-hmm. combines with what i said and his research it's just, it's a lot more than you think. It's not just a baseball book. There's a philosophical component to it. There's a leadership component to it. And Tommy brings it together wonderfully. Question for you. Do you like your sports news without fear, favor, or compromise? Then check out these other recent videos from Deadspin. And be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.